Hello and welcome to Baby's Babble. This video is the first in the series of Listen, Learn and Talk. You will see segments from home and clinical settings illustrating how babies can learn to listen and talk. The journey begins from the day of diagnosis. From then on, it will be a time of intensive input from parents and caregivers, a time of huge development from the baby to the toddler to the young child ready for school. Here you go. Let's unwrap you. The natural bond between parent and baby should not be interrupted after a diagnosis of hearing impairment. Have a stretch. The learning to listen process must begin as soon as the hearing aids are fitted. Put your hearing aids in. Good girl. The baby must wear hearing aids every waking moment to receive sound stimulation from the very beginning. Put your other hearing aid in. Okay. Okay. Roll over. Check your baby's hearing aids first thing in the morning and throughout the day to make sure they are in good working order. If your baby pulls the hearing aids out, gently put them back in her ears straight away. Give her a toy to engage her interest and distract her from pulling them out again. She needs to hear sound at all times. In the following segment, you will see a mother talking to her young baby. Notice the closeness of mother and baby. Mother is near to the microphone of the hearing aids so that her baby has every opportunity to hear her voice. Close contact is also important for the establishment of eye contact. So remember, wear hearing aids every waking moment. Be close to the microphone when speaking. Have a quiet environment. Establish eye contact. In this next segment, notice the mother's way of talking to their babies. They are using a sing-song voice, often called motherese. This makes the voice more audible. To your tummy. There's your tummy. Here's your tummy. When we got you. It tickles on your tummy. Where's your arms? Where's your arms? Here, yeah, mummy's tickling your arms. Yes, I got you. Let's jump up. Up, 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 up. Whee! Down, down, down. Could you more? As well as using a sing-song voice, the mother is using language that is appropriate and meaningful. She uses the real names of objects and actions. A quiet environment is important at this stage. Is this your hands? And this is my hand. Good listening. This is mummy's hand. And this is Jonah's hand. Good listening. There are lots of excellent opportunities for language and interaction during your baby's day. For example, when feeding, changing nappies or playing. <coughs> Mummy's nose. Jonah's nose. Mummy's nose. Jonah's nose. This interaction helps to develop eye contact and turn-taking skills that are prerequisites Yay. for conversation. Boo. I see you. Boom. Yeah. Mummy have a cuddle? Mummy have a cuddle. My turn. Cuddle. Miranda's turn. Cuddle? Yeah. Say the words and phrases many times as repetition is essential for developing spoken language. Use a sing-song voice. Use appropriate phrases. Use real names for objects and actions. Use repetition. In order to learn to listen and speak, your baby needs to hear a lot of spoken language. Listening to environmental sounds can also be a part of the learning to listen journey. In this segment, you'll see a mother directing her baby's attention to a sound source. Knocking? There's someone knocking at the door. 
She alerts her baby to the sound, telling him to listen and then taking him towards the source of the sound. This is called localizing sound. Notice that the mother is alerting her baby to the sound and saying, can you hear the knocking? And turning baby towards the door. Did you hear the knocking? Did you hear the aeroplane too? That was a big aeroplane. Alert your baby to sound. Use the listen cue. Say, I hear that. Can you hear that? There are many sounds in the home that you can point out to your baby as you go about your daily routines. For example, the kettle whistling, the telephone ringing, and musical toys. Listen. All these sounds can be pointed out to the baby as parents go about their daily routines at home. The baby is beginning to hear her own voice and is beginning to experiment with different vocalizations. Good talking, Miranda. She needs lots of good language models and repetition from parents and people in her world and encouragement to respond vocally. You should listen to your baby, repeat the vocalizations, then wait for your baby to respond. In this way, vocal turn taking is built up and your baby learns the beginning of conversation. You have just seen the beginning of natural spoken communication between mother and baby. Did you notice how the mother was speaking closely to the microphone of the hearing aid so baby hears the sounds? Did you also notice how the mother waited for her baby to stop vocalizing before she repeated the sounds? Waiting is an excellent strategy to use throughout the baby's development. It helps the development of vocal turn taking. This creates an expectation that the baby will respond to her mother's talking. Wait for your baby to respond. Wait for your baby to finish vocalizing before you respond. Always be close to the microphone when speaking. Singing is an excellent way to interact with your baby at this young age. Sing lots of songs over and over again as your baby needs to hear the repetition. Babies love songs and will love them even more if you do the actions with them. Aeroplanes, aeroplanes all in a row. Aeroplanes, aeroplanes ready to go. Pinsy Wincy Spider. Pinsy Wincy Spider climbed up the water spout. Down came the rain and washed for Wincy out. Out came the sunshine and dried up all the rain. Incy wincy spider climbed up the spout again. Good girl, Incy wincy's on you. It's on your head. Yeah. Oh look. Is this Incy wincy? During the course of a normal day, you may carry your baby around with you or put her in a bouncer close by. You might be washing up, clearing the dishes away or making a drink and these are ideal times to talk. Make sure your baby is within hearing distance and use natural, meaningful language. Can we go outside for a walk? You put your hat on? Put your hat on your head? Yeah. Put your other shoe on. Open the door. Open. Oh, here's the 
juice. Close the door. Close. There we go. Open the bottle. Here we go. Pour it out. Pour, pour, pour. Here it goes. Yum. Yes, it goes. Meow. It goes. Meow. Felix. Yes, it goes. Hello. Remember, always be close to the microphone when speaking. Use phrases and simple sentences. Use repetition. Describe what you are doing. Sharing a book with your child is a wonderful way to develop language and an ideal opportunity to establish joint attention. Notice that the baby is focused on the pictures of the book and listening to appropriate language as his mother is speaking close to his microphone. You can start sharing books with your baby at a very young age. What's on the next page? <gasps> Look, Jana, it's a cat. It says meow, meow, meow. You see the cat? And look, there's a mouse. and says squeak, 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 squeak. Wow, good listening. Oh, look, we've got a goat. What noise does a goat make? It goes, ma, ma. The goat's eating the grass. Look, ma, ma. That's good, isn't it? <gasps> look at the pigeon. Isn't it pretty? It says, hoo, hoo. See the pigeon? Can you hear the pigeon? It's going, hoo. As your baby matures, sound awareness, comprehension of language and turn-taking skills develop. Your baby is interested in people, voices and toys. It's vital to continue listening development so your baby learns that sound has meaning. Learning to listen sounds or performatives are sounds associated with familiar things in your baby's life. They use because they cover all sounds across the frequency range of speech. They lay the foundations for future speech development. In the next segment, you will see a baby and his mother in the clinical setting. Notice how the baby listens to the sound before seeing the toy. I have a car and it goes, brum, brum. Brum, brum. You heard that. That's the car. It goes brum, brum. Here it comes. Yeah, it's a car. It's a car. And it goes brum, brum, brum. Here comes the car. I'm waiting for him to say something before I give him the car. You say brum, brum. Brum, brum. Listen, Zachariah, listen. I hear the bus, and the bus goes ba 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 ba. Do you hear the bus, Mum? Mm. Ba ba ba. <coughs> oh, you hear the bus too. Here it comes. Ba 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 ba. Here comes the bus. <gasps> Here's the bus. Using audition first is an important strategy. The therapist makes the key sound or word louder than the other sounds in the phrase or sentence. This is called acoustic highlighting and it's a very effective technique to use. You can roll a ball too. You can go roll, roll, roll the ball, roll the ball to mummy. Mummy caught the ball. Okay. You see him close up with his microphone. That's the best way to, to be with him. All right. And then you learn the song too and you sing. 
Right. So we go. This is an important step in learning to associate meaning to sound. There are lots of opportunities in the home for you to reinforce this important stage of listening. Use the parent, another adult or sibling as a model. Use repetition. Expect vocalization on demand. Use acoustic highlighting. Now let's see how the mother does this. Yummy yums, you want some more fruit salad? Here we go. You want some pears and some pineapple? Yummy yum. Open. Open wide. Yummy yum. Ba 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 bus. Where's the bus? Can you see it? Look. Ba 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 ba. It's a minibus. Ba, ba, ba. Oh, look. Little men, look. Are you going to look at the little men? Roly poly, roly poly, up, up, up. Roly poly, roly poly, up, up, up. Roll the ball. Roll, roll, roll the ball. All the way to cinema. There you go. Have auditory input first. Use repetition. Use acoustic highlighting. Capture your baby's interest. Come on, Nick. Better put some petrol in the car. As your baby learns to listen and understand, continue to introduce lots of different experiences to encourage language learning. Let's build a sandcastle. Remember to use phrases and simple sentences and not single words. Encourage your baby to respond vocally. In the bucket. In the bucket. The therapist and the parents need to know exactly what sounds the baby can hear. The auditory stimulus response activity is used for this purpose. Because the baby can now reach for and grasp objects, the therapist begins to teach the baby to hold an object and put it on a stand or in a bowl of water, for example. The therapist waits and then says one of the six sounds that cover the frequency range of the speech spectrum. These sounds go from low to high frequency and are called the Ling sounds. This very important activity is described in more detail in the accompanying book. Mummy, listen. This is an essential activity for detecting and identifying speech sounds and for checking reliability of hearing aids or cochlear implant. At a later stage, it is useful for practicing speech sounds. As your baby's listening and comprehension of language develops, he will begin to follow simple instructions. You want to say bye-bye? Go bye-bye. Bye-bye. It flies up in the sky. Yeah, that's right. The next segment shows how parents and therapists introduce new language and vocabulary. Notice how involved the baby is. Old MacDonald had a farm. Your baby's concentration and attention span are increasing. And on that farm he had a... A horse. A horse. That's a horse thing. Open the door. That's a... And on that farm he had a... A cat! You know what, they might want a drink. You want to give them a drink? Here, the therapist and parents are beginning to develop the baby's auditory memory. As the toys are put away, you will see the therapist ask the baby to select one of the toys through listening. Bye bye cat. Develop auditory memory. Have a quiet environment. Use audition first. In this segment, the therapist and mother are extending the baby's language. They are talking about the parts of the object and their function. Mummy, I've got a banana. Oh, yeah, banana. Notice how the therapist uses the mother to model correct responses. Oh, that smells nice. Mmm. Want to smell it? <laughs> no, I don't want to smell that. Peel the skin. Mummy? Peel, Peel the skin. Good. 
Peel the skin. Peel it off. Good. Oh, Piper, can you peel the skin off? Peel it off. Yeah, yeah. well done. Mummy, I need something that will go cut, cut, cut the banana. Cut, cut, cut the banana. Something? I think a knife will oh. cut the banana. Let's see if it'll cut the banana. Okay. Cut, 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 cut. Wow. Cut, cut, cut. I'm going to cut, cut, cut the banana. Cut, cut. Cut the banana. Cut, cut, cut. Cut the banana. Cut, cut, cut. Peel the kiwi fruit. Peel the kiwi fruit. Oh, green and juicy. Peel the kiwi fruit. Peel, Peel it. Model correct language. Use expanded language. Use repetition. As your baby begins to vocalise with intent, you respond by modelling correct structures and expanding language. Use simple sentences, not single words. The boys! Boys, where are you? Where are you? Oh. Hello, boy. Hello. Hello boys. Hello boys. Are they going to fall down? Oh, I think he's going to fall down. And oh. pick it up. Pick up the boy. It's one on the floor. Come up here boy. Come up here. Come up here boy. Come on. Come up here. That's right. Come up here. Well, here he comes. Here I come. One, two little boys with two little hats. Put it on your head. <laughs> this video illustrated the many opportunities that you can provide to enable your baby to start to respond to sound and associate meaning to that sound. It has shown a sequential program following typical stages of development in audition, speech, language and cognition from birth to 15 months. Remember that you are the key language providers and you play a vital role in your baby's listening and speaking development. This is an exciting time. It will require a lot of patience and dedication, but you will be rewarded when your baby starts to listen and respond. The listening and talking journey has begun. Enjoy it.